one of the many products we just got from Aldi. Which you're one? a you're a big Cuban sandwich fan too. I absolutely love Cuban sandwiches. I don't even know if I've ever had a Cuban sandwich in its entirety. I've had a bite of yours maybe. What is it? Ham and ham. It's that sweet sandwich, isn't it? Or yes. is that a Monte Cristo? What's a Monte Cristo? Yeah. You like those too, don't I you? think Monte Cristos are more of the sweet ones. Those with the powdered sugar? Yes, they can okay. be. But I think Cuban, sometimes people make them sweet too. Like deep fry the whole thing and put some powdered oh, sugar yeah. or um, make it more sugary ham also. Maybe I'm thinking of a Monte Cristo. But I, I will say this is one of my favorite sandwiches. It's got pickle, no. mustard, ham, hey. mayonnaise, the whole shebang. So. You know what, this is also the Clancy's no brand from Aldi, which is... Ironic because I was reading an article today talking about all the things you shouldn't and shouldn't should and shouldn't buy at Aldi based on value, and they said that the chips are not a good value based on the price and the quality. They saying Clancy's aren't, mm -hmm. and then they're only chip they carry. I think so. I That's the Costco like brand. No, this is Aldi. We ain't talking about Costco. All right, this is a very stuffed bag. Do I dare open it? Oh, sweet smell of pickles smell. and potato chips. Like dill pickle? Yeah. Yeah, it smells very dill pickly. <laughs> if they taste like dill pickle chips, I'm in. I also... Cuban. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. They're saying delicioso on the bag. All right, nothing healthy about these things, to be honest. 150 calories for an ounce of chips, which is 12 chips. And <laughs> um, total fat, nine grams, carbs, 15 grams. There is protein and I guess there's a little bit of fiber. Well, let's get one thing real. If you're eating, <laughs> if you're eating Cuban flavored, <laughs> Cuban sandwich flavored kettle chips, you probably ain't counting the calories. Well, yeah, and you're not eating them for the nutritional value. Um, what else was I, oh, 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 what I was going to explain, if you guys aren't frequent Aldi shoppers. Bob, you want chip? This Aldi twice as nice thing, is that what it's called? Yeah, Aldi twice as nice guarantee. If you buy something with this label on it from Aldi, it's usually their brand. And if you don't like it, you can actually return it for a full refund, or you can return it to get a different flavor to try, which is really nice, because I've gotten some things that I definitely do not like from Aldi. You want chip, Bob? Come on. All right. I think Clark should try first. Ooh, okay. Clark, come here, bub. Come here. Wait, it's pretty. Oh. <laughs> you want a chip, bub? No, 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 like that. Give okay. me Oh, you want a big boy? Oh, he's gonna you want try it. Oh. Wait, this, is, this ain't bad for him, right? He just ate a wet wipe. Come here. Get come in here, the camera. <laughs> <laughs> the people want, there you go. Well, oh. don't take my he's finger like, off. This is a trick. Oh, he's crumpled. You crumpled his tip. Well, you're eating it. All right, we can pick it up and show. Dang, bro. <laughs> I think he likes so it. So, through a vacuum. <laughs> you miss crumbs. Pick up the crumbs. Look at the crumbs, bub. Yeah, look at the... Well, I think Clark will like it. He can't tell us what it tastes like. But... And if you notice, oh my gosh. That Did is like literally it so ironic with the timing. Aunt Beth just joined, and I was about to do a shout out to Aunt Beth for the stand up of the potato chip bag, people. Got this from Aunt Beth. You just literally tuck in the bottom. All right. All right. Now we're finally going to try these chips. All right. They just smell like pickle chips. I bet you that's what they're going to taste like. This is my favorite one that the chips are like this. When they're folded in, it's crunchy. <laughs> I mean, they're crunchy regardless. But... I licked it and it doesn't it doesn't taste like pickle. I'm kind of nervous. I don't uh, like really crazy elaborate chips. Oddly, I think it tastes more like ham. Doesn't it? It's not bad. No, it doesn't, but you gross me out. I it tastes like, like ham. I don't and want then chip, kind of like, like with sprinkled vinegar pickle. Hey, those aren't that bad. It's potato chip until you breathe out. It definitely smells like pickle. 
But it doesn't taste like if you've ever had a dill pickle chip. No. It doesn't, it doesn't taste, taste like, like... It's not vinegary. It it's has candy. like... It has like dill, like a little bit of vinegar, and then... So that's the thing. I don't know what a Cuban... I know what every ingredient of a Cuban sandwich tastes like. I just never had one. Well, next video, I guess we're going to try a Cuban sandwich, people. All right. I don't think they're that bad. I like it. I think they're pretty good. Things over here bogart them. Anyone know if this is a seasonal thing though? Oh. They have a lot of stuff that just goes on their shelf that's about to be gone. And that's usually what I end up buying. So it's no it's value for me to do a review on something that's going to leave soon. But good. these are the chips we're trying. The Clancy's Kettle Chips, Cuban sandwich flavored. Delicioso. That's probably backwards. I don't think they're that bad. I think they're pretty good. I was expecting them to be like a lot, uh, a lot more, like the flavors would be a lot more dominant. But yeah. It, it all blends together pretty well. They are and, gluten free. Uh, gluten free. How do I mean, it doesn't taste like your, I mean, I, that, I think that's what I was most worried about. The overwhelming taste would be ham. <laughs> I ain't trying to have my potato chips taste like ham. Mm -hmm. Let's get that clear. What I wonder is Not how that the, I wonder how the calories relate to normal potato chips because usually the ones that have all the flavoring on them have more calories. They look pretty nice. Ooh, when they're shaped like that. Because they are kettle chips, so keep that in mind. They're just like kettle chips. See? But they're not as crunchy as a kettle chip. I think it's in the middle of the Do you think that happens by accident? <laughs> When, like this, do we think that happens by accident? Let us know. Yeah, right? I'm sure. If it doesn't, if there's a way they do it on purpose, this is the way. This is the way, people. It's so much more satisfying, the crunch. Can't be on purpose, can it? We gotta keep it in the shot. Stephanie! I'm gonna wave at Stephanie. Wait. <laughs> okay, who? Stephanie. Wait, do you Stephanie? <laughs> the only Stephanie. The only Stephanie. I don't I know how many Stephanie. <laughs> you know, it's the only Stephanie I know. That's, that's, what, Stephanie. that's what I'm saying. The only Stephanie. You know. Okay, we're just munching away here, people. They're pretty good. Man, I drank all my Coke. <laughs> it tastes really good with Coke or pop. Kettle chips, Cuban sandwich. We're ranking them a 10 out of 10. Wait, oh. Stephanie came so Ashley, here. Ashley said those are her favorite. Yeah. What, you've had these before? I've hey. never seen these. This is my favorite sandwich. Can you flip the camera around? Yeah. I'm phone illiterate, people. There you go. Thank you, <laughs> He's just salivating for one. Ah, oh, buddy. I figure if we're feeding potato chips that Puppy wet wipe that he just will probably move through him a little bit quicker. Yeah, he did. We've only bought 40 bags. <laughs> Who bought 40 bags Ashley. of what? <laughs> Ashley Leland. They are pretty good. We were not expecting this. Yeah. I thought they were going to be either really vinegary, but they kind of taste like ham. <laughs> but it's a, ham. it's a good gross. ham. It's a good ham. It's a good ham. I don't think they taste like ham. When you say that, I imagine them. Can you go get that drink? What? I'm not gonna try it, but I wanna show what we're gonna try next. That protein drink? Yeah, probiotic. If you're just joining, this is what we've tried. I'd rank them a 10 out of 10. Probably be weird eating Cuban sandwich flavored chips with a Cuban sandwich, but my favorite sandwich. All right, people. Chandler did not agree to try this one today on our video, but I did I don't, show. I don't think I'm the right client for that. <laughs> it is a probiotic drink. My dad and sister stole my other one. Well, they didn't really steal it. I accidentally left it in their fridge. And they drank it, and they said it was really good. So I got another one. This one's blueberry this lemonade. Good, and it has a little pop in the top where you, good? Did they taste good? where you push down some powder um, and then drink your beverage that way. So it's called Karma Probiotic Water. We're gonna try this one on another review video. All right, do we leave it at that? Yeah. What's your rating? Oh, uh, good, I don't know. What are we doing, like 10 points ago? 10 points ago. 
Mm. We're just ruining our dinner. I don't know. It's hard to rate things. I'll give it a, like a 7.5. 7.5? Mm. No, I feel like that doesn't do them justice. They're pretty good. I like them. My biggest compliment is that it's not really like overpowering. I think all the tastes blend really well. What's your favorite potato chip normally though? Me? Mm -hmm. My favorite potato chip? Or chip. Dang. I think you just like That's chips loaded, and queso. That's a loaded question. Um, I've really been into the uh, sour cream and onion ruffles lately. Talk about it fake Those flavor. Those have now. been. You like barbecue too, don't you? I like sweet and spicy chili Doritos too. Oh. Um, I like taco Doritos. I love salt and pepper kettle chips and salt and vinegar kettle chips and Doritos. You like Fritos. I love Fritos. Fritos are actually pretty good for you. Sea salt and vinegar? Yes. I was a big Cheeto poop fan back then. The salt and pepper are pretty good That's too, but sometimes pepper. you gotta be careful which kettle cooked chips you get that are salt and pepper because the pepper's super overpowering. But they're good. I like the jalapeno kettle chips from Jimmy John's too. Yes. All right, and if you missed it too, what we were talking about is this Clancy's brand. I just read it today that this is not the best price for the quality that you're going to get at Aldi is their chip brand is what I've heard. Granted, they've got cool flavors like this, but if you're rating it on a scale of um, quality for price, they did not rank this one high. Other things I thought were interesting though were their mayonnaise. They said it's cheaper than Hellman's and it tastes just like Hellman's. Um, bread and cheeses. Meat was a no-go. Avocados, they said, are not the best quality, which I noticed too. Sometimes if you get avocados from a, um, Aldi, they're kind of muscly inside, like you can't even chop them up with um, a utensil. So just a little side note of knowledge that I learned this morning for the video. All right. Well, I think with that, everybody we might enjoy sign their off. Memorial Day and enjoy your Cuban sandwich flavored trip. Chips. Trip. Where are we going? <laughs> We're going to Cuba, guys. <laughs>